Android Dialogues, where we have bite-sized conversations with people in the Android community. I'm Huynh Tuet Dao, and I'm speaking with... Victoria Ganda. And Victoria and I are in Boston for Joy-Con Boston, Yay. where we're both speaking. Victoria, where are you based, and how did you get started in Android? Um, I am based in Holland, Michigan. I work at Collective Idea. We're a consulting company. We build software solutions for our clients. Um, it's really great. I started with Android when I was in college. I did a summer research project where we developed an app for a student with cognitive disabilities mm -hmm. so that he could uh, but ride the bus system so on awesome. his own. That's amazing. Yeah. So just like I was on the fence if I wanted to like get into this like technology stuff and mm -hmm. programming and just <laughs> seeing um, how I could use it to help people that was like, yeah, I, I want to do this. Well, we're really <laughs> happy to have you over in tech and, um, you, um, and t talking about certain things like what you're going to be talking about this week at Joy-Con Boston, Kotlin. Yes. yes. Um, for people who may have not heard of Kotlin or aren't too familiar with it, can you kind of explain quickly what it is? Yeah, definitely. It's a language developed by JetBrains. Um, it's for the JVM, Android, and the browser. Um, it's a language that is functional and statically typed and reduces a lot of the things that people don't enjoy about programming in Java. Yeah, well, so. plate die, just yes. that kind of thing. <laughs> I, I've actually been using Kotlin for about six to seven months and I mm. absolutely adore the, the, the stuffing out of it. <laughs> I, I'm really excited and I'm mm. extremely excited about uh, your talk, Victoria, because you're talking about something very particular with Kotlin. Yes. And what is that? I'm talking about how you can decompile the Kotlin bytecode into Java to kind of get a better understanding about it. And that is really awesome because I think one of the um, the kind of intimidating parts about learning a whole new language is kind of understanding the ins and outs of it. You know, mm -hmm. like I, I've done Java since university, so I feel like well, I'm not an expert by any means. I, I feel like I know certain things. I yeah. know like how I should write my code in a certain way to avoid like you know using you know doing too much object allocation or mm -hmm. you know running certain traps. But I have no idea what I'm doing with Kotlin. <laughs> um, and it's kind of interesting because I, I understand that you know the Kotlin is being um, compiled down to Java bytecode. Right. So I'm like, I know how to write decent Java. How do I write decent Kotlin? And yeah. And and I, I I just find that the idea of being able to see like you know how the Kotlin gets to gets to the Java is mm -hmm. super fascinating. How did you get started doing that? Um, I was reading a blog post by Piotr about um, Kotlin delegation. Mm -hmm. And the delegation was super, super interesting. Mm -hmm. But then also he mentioned decompiling Kotlin bytecode into Java. And he had an example there. I was like, this is kind of neat. Like, I want to try it. So I tried it out. The first thing I tried was um, on like a data class. Mm -hmm. And I tried it on a whole bunch of things, and it was just a ton of fun. And I learned a bunch of different stuff from it, and uncovered a bunch of neat things. So, what um, can you think of something really fascinating or unexpected, or maybe something sneaky? What, what's what's something really cool that you learned doing that? Mm -hmm. I uh, really enjoyed um, like how much you get from just a little bit with data classes, mm -hmm. because you get so much for free, so many, um, so much of the boilerplate reduction that just makes it not fun to write data classes. Yeah, it's um, crazy. Like one line and you yeah. get like the entire one line you get like a huge file with like all the properties and, and like, like the hash code and two string and all that yeah, other stuff hash too. Code, it's, it's so two fun. Two string getters and setters and yeah. it's so fun to like you're in the Kotlin file, you decompile it, you flip over the Java file and you're like, that's that's so much. <laughs> that, that definitely like blew my mind mm -hmm. um, understanding the first time that I only had to write this one thing, and that Kotlin's smart right. enough to say, "Oh, I get it. You want all this stuff." So yeah, that's really cool. Yeah. Um, has it like changed the way that you write Kotlin at yeah, all? Yeah, definitely. It's changed the way that I write Kotlin just because I understand like a little bit like different how it's doing different things, and I'm starting to as I do more of them like be like, "Oh, this way might be a little bit more optimized and stuff like that." Mm -hmm. And then it's also changed the way that I write in Java as well. Really? Yeah. Um, I'm, for one, more aware of like different like null checks that I should do that are usually forced in Kotlin. Absolutely. And then on top of that, I can more quickly recognize stuff like a map implementation. And I'm sitting there wishing I could just do that map, <laughs> but I yes. recognize it faster. <laughs> You get so spoiled with Kotlin, you like do. really quickly. Mm -hmm. Just like being able to just do something really simple. Like my favorite thing is just to do a, this to this, and it's like a pair. Yeah. Like when you're yeah. like, you know, like, 
there's a lot of cool stuff. Sorry, yes. we could probably <laughs> talk about this like all day. But um, is it is it like was it hard to like kind of get into decompiling or is it? Um, no, it's super easy. So in the uh, with uh, IntelliJ with the plugin, there's an action that you can just search it or there's a shortcut. Um, but it's just show Kotlin, show Kotlin bytecode. And then in that view, mm -hmm. there's just like this big button that says decompile. So you just click it and you like have that entire Kotlin file decompiled into Java. Okay, that sounds pretty easy. So. That sounds like something that everybody who is like looking at Kotlin could and probably should do. Yeah. I mean, it, it sounds like <laughs> super interesting. Yeah, and just to see like what what it's actually doing like mm -hmm. under the hood seems pretty cool. Um, and like you said, you started with data classes. Like, yeah. is that kind of like what you would recommend to other people that you know want um, to start decompiling? Um, yeah, I mean, that was definitely one of the most fun things for me. Mm -hmm. um, and really, like, you could do that, or like really just pick something small that is interesting to you. Mm -hmm. um, like, don't do like this huge file. I mean, you could do a huge file, but it produces a ton more Java for you to look through. <laughs> so just start with like a small file or like a small element of like something that you're curious about. Then that's that's what I'd recommend. Awesome. So yeah. um, I'm pretty sure they're recording all of the talks at DroidCon Boston. So mm -hmm. I mean, definitely if you're interested in Kotlin, um, if you're already doing Kotlin, definitely um, check out Victoria's talk. And if you're kind of like on the fence about Kotlin a little bit, uh, this might be a way for you to kind of like, you know, kind of make Kotlin something a little more familiar by taking a look at the Java that it spits out. Yeah. <laughs> um, Victoria, thank you so much. Of I course, am thank you for having me. Absolutely excited about your talk. Um, I'm glad. <laughs> because again, like, I've become like an official Kotlin nut. So I'm yep. really, really, really um, excited to see what you have to um, show us. And uh, if people uh, wanted to find you on the internet, how can they do that? Um, you can find me on Twitter at TTGonda. That's um, T T G O N D A. Awesome. We'll yeah. have it like somewhere like right around here for everyone to awesome. uh, check out. Perfect. <laughs> but thank you so much, Victoria. And thank, thank you all. for having me. Oh, absolutely. It was <laughs> wonderful. It was an absolute pleasure. And we will see you all next time. Yes. Bye. Bye. Bye.